हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सुरेश अग्रवाल मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्टकट्स ए स्पेशल वीडियो इन विच आई बी टेकिंग अप एन एक्सक्लूसिव ट्रिक टू फाइंड द स्क्वायर ऑफ एनी नंबर वेदर इट इज ए टू डिजिट नंबर और इट इज ए थ्री डिजिट नंबर एंड बिलीव इट और नॉट इफ यू नो द ट्रिक यू कैन अप्लाई द मेथड एंड फाइंड द स्क्वायर ऑफ नंबर एज बिग एज फोर डिजिट नंबर ऑल्सो दैट इज अप टू नाइन थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड एंड नाइनटी नाइन So watch the entire video. This short trick is going to develop very good aptitude in you in squaring numbers, and this will help you in cracking most of the questions based on squares of numbers. Short tricks are you know wonderful, and we we uh, when we see the short tricks, it is like uh, it's very good and it can be applied. But when you start applying it, you find the complexities, and then you start uh, experimenting with things. and that's the stage where you start learning experimentation is really important so we have the short trick ebook the complete ebook where we have given 24 different topics and around 350 such short methods through which you can make the calculations easier and you know, perform them 10 times faster very important for all the school students and uh, obviously for quantitative aptitude exams it is a boon so if you want to get a copy of that uh, particular short trick ebook you can send me a message on whatsapp this is a whatsapp number 9869636963 9869636963 you can find this whatsapp number in the description box below also right so let's see the trick now and get ready for learning something new here we have the square of 37 you may be knowing the square of 37 already i'm taking up very small numbers first so that you can uh, learn the method first and then we will apply it to numbers as big as uh, big three digit numbers also right so what do we do in the first step here the unit digit is 7 right so what will i do first is the number 37 will be added to the unit digit 7 that gives you another number 44 that is the first step the next step the number 44 so obtained will be multiplied by the tens digit that is 3 so this is 120 plus 12 132 and the next step is going to give us the answer the steps which i am writing here friends these are all mental maths steps and you know when i perform the trick here in the in the sessions in the videos it looks like it will consume so much of time but doing 37 plus 7 that's mental maths right and doing 3 times that is triple of 44 that is also mental maths and therefore these steps are to be uh, you know uh, you need to think about them in the mind and not actually write them so 132 and watch the magic now 132 i took a single digit here right single digit and a single digit so i'll put a zero here and add what the square of the single digit 7 that is 7 square 49 so if you add 49 to this number you will get 1 3 6 9 and now pick up the calculators and check is the square of 37 1 369 and you will be surprised that the answer is accurate now let's apply it to some more big numbers that is bigger than 37 Let's have fifty-eight. So, what do we do? Fifty-eight plus the unit digit eight gives us sixty-six. Sixty-six times what? The tens digit five. Multiplication by five is again oral. Multiply by ten, six hundred and sixty, and take the half, three hundred and thirty. Now, what do we do? Three hundred and thirty is to be suffixed by a zero, and then add what? and the square of this digit that is the ones place you get 64 here and add then you get 3364 as the square of 58 feeling more comfortable now let's have two more demonstrations and after that when i move to the next slide it will be three digit numbers 73 73 plus the unit digit 3 gives us 76 76 times the tens digit 
gives us 7 6 are 42 so 2 and a 4 carry 49 plus 4 53 532 becomes 5320 and add what the square of 3 that is 9 so you get 5329 as the square of 73 see it is looking uh, it is uh, looking like very easy now and taking very less time also so as i did the first question it took me like 1 minute explaining it to you but now it took me only 20 seconds to demonstrate just think if you have practiced enough and you are doing it for yourself then you will take only 7 to 8 seconds finding the square of any two digit number let's see 86 so 86 plus 6 is 92 and 92 times 8 is 8 to the 16 1 carry means 73 so 736 followed by a 0 and add what 6 square 36 to the result you get 7396 as the square of 86 see 15 seconds even when I am writing everything I am explaining it to you ok this is how the squaring of two digit numbers takes place now let's get on with some of the questions which are the squares of three digit numbers so you need to be a little smart here and there are two ways you can do it which way suits you depends on what the number is right I'll show you how like here 11 is easy to handle and 6 11 and 6 if I split the three digit number into two parts I have to ensure that the two parts are easy to handle okay so multiplication by 11 is easy and that is why I have taken 11 as one number but if you see this number 827 827 if I split it as 82 and 7 then multiplication by 82 is going to be a tough job and so what will I do in this case I will not do 82 and 7 I will do 8 and 27 now what happens when you split it like this there is a small change I will tell you when I take up this question at present let me take up 100 and 16 first so in 116 116 is to be added to what the unit digit 6 that gives me 122 and 122 times 11 I know the short trick for multiplying numbers by 11 start from the unit digit 2 2 plus 2 4 2 plus 1 3 and then the first digit 1 so this is the product then 1, 3, 4, 2 and since I took a single digit here I will put a 0 and add what the square of 6 that is 36 to the result I will get my final answer so 1, 3, 4, 5, 6 is the square of 116 so you can see nothing changed here and even in this question I am not going to change the method 15 is easy to handle so 15 and 6 works 156 plus 6 gives me 162 162 times 15 is 15 to the 30 0 3 carry 90 plus 3 93 so 3 and a 9 carry 15 plus 9 24 so 2 4 3 0 follow it up by another 0 and add what the square of 6 36 to the result you get 2 4 3 3 6 as the square of 156 so you can go on and on and the method applies to all such questions but here in these two questions the method slightly changes and that's because of the number 61 being little difficult to handle in terms of multiplication see what am I going to do here let's split it like 6 and 13 okay now follow the same method 613 I have to add 13 to the result so you get 626 now 626 is to be multiplied by this number 6 and that's pretty easy right 6 6 are 36 3 carry means 15 5 1 carry means 37 so 3 7 5 6 now the important step is here 
थ्री सेवन फाइव सिक्स सिंस आई हैव टेकन टू डिजिट्स हियर राइट दिस नंबर थर्टीन सो आई विल पुट टू जीरो इन प्लेस ऑफ वन जीरो नाउ दिस इज द डिफरेंस एंड देन डू द सेम थिंग प्लस वॉट स्क्वायर ऑफ थर्टीन वन हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी नाइन एंड दैट विल गिव मी थ्री सेवन फाइव सेवन सिक्स नाइन विच इज द स्क्वायर ऑफ सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड थर्टीन now you can actually pick up the calculator and check whether this answer is correct or not and let's try it on 827 again 82 is difficult so i'll do 8 and 27 so 827 plus 27 gives me 854 and 854 is to be multiplied by the first digit 8 which will give me 8 4s are 32 so 2 3 means 43 Three four carry so sixty four plus four sixty eight so six eight three two and then six eight three two will be followed up by two zeros because I have taken two digits here and add what twenty seven square seven hundred and twenty nine to the result and therefore I will get six eight three the first digits are not affected two hundred plus seven twenty nine is nine twenty nine and there we go the square of Eight hundred and twenty-seven is six eight three nine two nine. So, friends, an exclusive method of squaring numbers, and I I can only tell you that you can extrapolate this to four-digit numbers also. I'll put up one more video in which I'll take four-digit numbers and I'll try to demonstrate the utility of this method. Although there are so many methods of squaring, you can use the identity a square plus two ab plus b square. That's the most common trick. But this is more applicable to numbers which are random and where the vertically and crosswise method or the identity method is little difficult to apply so practice these questions solve 30 40 questions i'm sure you are going to develop an amazing and tremendous speed of squaring numbers so friends if you have enjoyed this video do share it with all your friends do not forget to subscribe the channel and click the bell shaped icon for getting all the notifications Thanks for watching this and all the best for your practice